Once you log into Metallic, you will see a service catalog with all the workloads that Metallic can protect today. To configure backup for Active Directory, I'll click on the Active Directory service catalog item right here, which will load a dashboard for Active Directory specifically. In this case, I have two protected data sources here. One is an Azure AD and the other is a Microsoft AD data source. This dashboard shows weekly success rate, the plans that are used by Active Directory data sources and subscription usage. In this case, the subscription usage does not show any data because Active Directory is offered as a free service as long as you purchase one other, at least one other subscription in Metallic. To configure backup for Microsoft AD, all you have to do is go through the configuration wizard. Once you launch the configuration wizard for Microsoft AD, you will be present with two options. The first option, which is selected on the screen, is going to allow you to keep a local copy on premise and have a cloud copy as a secondary copy. For that, you will have to deploy a backup gateway and that will allow you to create copies locally and have a secondary copy to the cloud. The second option is you directly backup the Active Directory data to the cloud in which you do not need to deploy any backup gateway. In both cases, you will need to install an Active Directory agent. So when I click next, I will be presented with a page where I can download the agent for backing up Active Directory. Once the agent is installed in the Active Directory server, I'll just take the host name of the domain controller, come back here, paste it here and click submit. Once Metallic detects the server has been successfully installed, it will verify if the Active Directory agent is installed in it. On this page, while, the, while Metallic is verifying the agent, I can configure the cloud storage. I have an option to pick Metallic storage, which is free, or I can pick my own storage and select a region where I want to store it. In this case, I'll select Metallic and I'll click Next. On this page, you can either create a new plan or select an existing plan. When you create a new plan, you have options to select one month retention or one year retention or three year retention, or you could create a custom plan and configure your own retention and backup frequency. For now, I will select an existing plan and click next. On this page, you can enter the username of the service account that has permissions to backup your Active Directory objects. Once you click save, the credentials will be used to create the Active Directory client. You can either run a backup right away or return to the hub. For now, I will return to the hub to configure backup for Azure AD. To configure backup for Azure AD, you can go to the configuration wizard again and this time select Azure AD. This page provides an overview of how we are going to backup Azure AD. For Azure AD, you do not need to install any agent. Click next and this will take you to the Azure AD authentication page. This is where you can configure the Azure AD connection and once you click create, you can then perform backup of your Azure AD. I already have a client configured, so I'm just going to switch to that and walk you through the restore process. Now that I've configured the data source for the domain controller and an Azure AD, let's go in and restore the objects for each of these. I'll start with the domain controller. I Once I click on the domain controller, I can click on restore. This will load the entire domain controller tree. I can expand on the tree just like you would do it in the in your Active Directory server. Go down to the users that I want to restore and select the user that I want to uh, restore the property of. But before I do that, I would like to know what has changed. So I'll go ahead and first click on compare with the previous backup and I'll select the, the backup from today morning and click compare. This shows me the attributes that have changed. What I did before this demo was I went in and I configured password to not expire for this particular user. I can select this attribute and revert back using the restore option here. That's how you can restore objects and properties in Active Directory. In the same way, you can also restore objects for Azure AD. If you click on the restore button here, this will load Azure AD objects for you. 
In this case, we have options to re restore application registration, groups, enterprise applications, and users. I can select a user, click on restore, and it will restore the object. And if it's already there, it will override it unconditionally and restore the relationship as well. You can set a new default password. This way the user can log, log in back again and tell the user that yes, your password has been restored. The same way you can restore application registrations, enterprise applications and groups. That pretty much sums up the demo for Active Directory and Azure AD.